Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my everyday glowy makeup routine and if you like this video then please keep watching. Alright, so let's get started. So first I start out with my Smashbox Even Skin Tone Primer. And I just kind of get like about that much in my hand and just rub that all over my face. And this just helps to kind of blur those dark marks that I have from my acne. I just rub that in everywhere. And then I get my Fenty Beauty um, foundation in the shade 345. It's the hydrating one. And I actually, my first foundation was from Fenty Beauty. Um, before that, I just used to conceal. I never really used like a full foundation until Fenty came out because it's Rihanna. And I was like, all these shades, I'm sure I'll find one. And it was the original Pro Filter, but I was a little orange in that one. And then this one came out with even more shades. And this is like my perfect shade. So I just want you to see like how easily this blends. So it looks kind of yellow but I have like a golden and pink undertone. So like it starts out yellow, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, this is a bad purchase. Watch this. Now, I look ashy, right? I look ashy. And hold on, let me turn the light down so you can kind of see. I look a little ashy, but all of her foundations, like even the one that I bought the first time, oxidize onto your face. So at first you look kind of ashy, right? But then as it sets into your face, as you might already kind of see, it almost becomes like a perfect match. So you kind of just have to wait, but I don't really wait, but you'll see how easily and seamlessly it blends. So next I'm gonna use the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's kind of old, you can't really see, but this is the Born This Way concealer that um, they partnered with Jackiana, or Jackiana, I don't really know how to say her last name, but this is like a little bit light for me, but it's perfect as a highlighting concealer. So I just place this. on my nose and in my creases. A little bit right there. Pause. I did not blend this in on right away. And look, boom, it's in. Can't even tell I have on foundation now. So then I get the um, other shade. Oh, and this one was in Honey. And this one is in Chestnut. And I get the Chestnut color, which is a little bit darker than my natural shade. And I put that on the outskirts, kind of. All right, so I have it in my contour areas where, you know, we want it to be a little bit darker, right? Now, blend it all in. It's like a perfect, like, mold of what your face needs to look like. So you're just gonna And yes, I do know that I'm touching all of the colors and it's because like if you just continuously blend all of them, like you get a much better blend versus like staying with the light and then putting in the black dark. You want it to blend seamlessly. So. And then kind of bring some of that excess concealer onto your neck. Cause have you ever seen people where like they did their face and it looks beautiful, but then you see their neck and it's a different color. Like I don't really have that issue because my foundation is kind of perfect for my skin tone, but I still like to kind of blend it down to my neck just to not have that line, even if it is a little bit off. So yeah. So then after I've done all that concealer, and it's really not that heavy coverage because you can still see some of my dark marks. I don't really put on that much. I take this Laura Mercier setting powder, the one that everybody used to rave, rave about, and I get it. And this is the one in translucent because the brown skin ones just make me look orange and yellow sometimes. 
So I just go ahead with the translucent. This one makes me look ashy, right? But then when I put on my, my finishing powder and stuff, it looks fine. Plus I like oil out anyway, so it was gonna do that regardless. Um, so then now that that's all over my face and I look like ashy and flat, it's fine. Then I'll go ahead and do my brows. And I know that's weird. Like most people do their brows and their eyes before they put on their foundation and everything. But for everyday glowy makeup, that's usually the last thing I do because if I'm putting on glowy makeup, I'm probably not gonna use that much eyeshadow. I'm not gonna use eyeliner. So it kind of doesn't matter. And I don't do my brows very much because one, my brows are pretty thick, so I really don't have to. But this is the Benefit Brow, um, I don't really know actually, it's the tiny one. And then I get the 24 hour brow setter. This one actually still has a label on it, that's why I know. And it's just the brow gel. The other one is like a brow scara. And I just gel them down because the hairs are unruly, but like, like they're fine on their own, so I really don't have to do that much. So now my brows are on, cool. And then I'll go ahead, cause now everything should be nice and set onto my face. I will go ahead with the Becca highlighter um, in Prosecco Pop. And I learned about this one from Lissetti, love her. And it just really blends really well with the skin tone. Look at that pop, look at that. Cause it's not like too gold or not too pink or, you know, it doesn't really have like a under color besides like the slight brown champagne color. So it really blends in well. The Fenty um, Trophy Wife Shimmer Powder. So I also use this a lot just cause it's pretty. So I'll also get my highlighter brush and just go in with it and get like the tiniest bit of the gold, like the tiniest bit. And I literally just will pat it onto those places. Look at how bright that is. Like, oh my gosh. That's what I mean by the littlest mount because boom, it's there. You cannot take it back once you get it there. So you have to get like the tiniest amount possible. Look at that though. It's so pretty. So I'm just getting that literally everywhere. And this just adds a little bit of golden tone because my face is like, I do have a yellow tone to my face, but I also like, you can see me blushing, which I like black people don't blush, but I blush, I turn red. So um, I usually will use a yellow tone because it brings out the yellow tone in my face, which is not very prominent all the time because Again, I'm a black person who blushes. So then I'll go in with my finishing powder. And this is the one from Too Faced, Born This Way Again. Um, and it's the multi-use complexion powder in Mocha. And I'll just put this over everything to set it. And I put it on top of my highlighters because again, I use the Trophy Wife highlighter. I think it's powerful. You can see it even under this. So this is just to mute a little bit of that color, like, you know, the glitter. That's why I put it on top of it. But also like it just sets everything together. And again, go under the chin so that everything blends. <laughs> Boom. So that's all over. And so now I'm finally gonna do something with my lids. I'm not gonna do a lot, but because again, everyday glowy makeup. So I don't do a lot when I'm just like, doing a glowy makeup because I feel like it. I mainly will just kind of add a little bit of shimmer to my eyes because it's cute. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I'm just gonna use the color Riff, which is this brown shade, which it almost like matches my skin color. I just put that all over my lids. And now that's on, 
We're gonna take the color Smog, which is this glitter shade. It's like a brown glitter. Yeah. And I just put that all over like my lid, like on, on top of that brown, just to like make it sparkle, make it pop. Boom. Can't really say that much because again, this is not, you know, it's not that kind of makeup. And then I get the color Stranded, which is this like gold, but like it also has like orange tones in it. And I just put that in the inner crease on both eyes and then work it backwards to kind of give it like that, like a blend into the eye to blend in with the smog. I don't know if you can see that, but I like how that looks. It's very natural looking. It looks like I didn't really do anything with my eyes. But if you look closely, there's glitter there. And then to say that I actually did something again, I'm gonna get the Fenty Beauty Shimmer Clap Powder, Shimmer Clout, Shimmer Powder. And I just get literally the tiniest amount, like, and it sticks to your brush so easily. I get like the tiniest amount. And because again, this is some strong glitter. Like, I don't know what gold she crushed when she made these shimmer powders. But yeah, so I just put that on top of the smog. Now that I've got all my glitter on it, I just put it on top of the smog and then blend it all the way across. So now that I've gotten all of my actual makeup on, like the powder stuff, I'm just gonna get my mascara. Again, I do a lot of things out of order. Um, but here's my mascara. It's the Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. And legit, like, I don't like mascara that much. I kinda hate it. So when I put it on, I only put on a little bit because I hate trying to take it off. So I literally do like maybe two sweeps. Boom, that's it. Because my eyelashes are pretty thick on their own, like my eyebrows. I really don't need that much mascara. You can't even really see the difference. Ooh. Yeah, so. I'm using, yeah, I'm using my camera to see what I'm doing. Anyways, that's all on. So this is kind of what I'll look like for the rest of the day. Um, but I will take my Fenty Beauty lip gloss and just kind of smack that over everything. And I already have kind of Carmex on my lips, so that's why they already look shiny. But we're gonna really make them shine. And this is the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. And it's, you know, just a nude kind of color, but yeah. So to set my makeup, I used the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Just plop that all over my face, so. <laughs> hey! All right, so that's on, and so that's the end. That's the end of this routine. I hope you enjoyed. Hold on, let me let me get my antennas out. All right, so that's the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!